how to add a newsletter on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys two things of adding your newsletter to Shopify stores. First off, we're going to add a newsletter sign up in our Shopify store. This is what is going to be added to our storefront. Then we are going to be setting up that newsletter on the back end of our marketing. So let's proceed with our newsletter on Shopify. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to head on over to your online store and then click on customize. Now, for any person to start their newsletter, you need to start collecting emails. And you can see on the bottom, I usually do already, uh, most people usually will already have a email sign up. So you can choose to remove that if you want to build your own custom email sign up or leave it as it is. If you want to build your own custom one, you can click on add section and you're going to click on email sign up over here. Now, instead of including that in the bottom, I will remove it and then I'll click on this section over here. I will edit the color scheme because I want this to appear really uh, dynamic and I want it to pop out of the rest of the theme that I'm using. So instead of it saying subscribe to my emails, I will change the text to say subscribe to our fashion newsletter like this now below that we have some subheading text so be the our monthly newsletter newsletter has a special discount and trend forecasts for the season subscribe to to learn more about fashion like this now one thing to note is that whenever you are adding a newsletter section make sure you are providing a very intensive hook that is going to interest people so if i am you know starting an e-commerce store people are going to be interested in learning more about fashion and this is what you're trying to target you want people to be interested in value you are providing in your newsletter it's really important to add some value now below that you have an email section from where people are going to be able to add their email. You can click on add block and you can add different blocks with certain application integrations, but I don't find that to be necessary at all. You can leave it as it is. You can create a separate newsletter page, but I find that to be a bit excessive unless your newsletter becomes really popular, then you might want to create that. But otherwise, I just find a section like this to be sufficient. Now, I have chosen a very dark color. If you want, you can fit in your newsletter page with the rest of your website. But people usually don't read that, so I, I'm going to make it black and white. And then click on save on the top right so we have saved our section from where people are going to subscribe to our newsletter but how do we set those newsletters up on the back end well for that you're going to click on exit on the top left and once you click on exit you're going to click on marketing on the left then click on campaigns once you click on campaigns you will see all of the campaigns you have previously started and you will see that you will have your total marketing sessions. You can click on create campaigns on the top right. And then you will click on Shopify email. You can click on Shopify email over here to integrate Shopify email into your Shopify account. And you will see there are quite a few different templates that you can get started with. We have a back in stock template. We have a long weekend template. We have a bunch of templates that we can play around with. But because this is primarily a newsletter, I'm going to go with the newsletter template on the left. You will see there's a newsletter, a plain letter, a blank template as well. I'm going to go with a simple newsletter template and start my customization. So on the top, I want to add my store logo. And then below that, I don't have a logo. That's, that's very funny. I'm, I'm very surprised I, I haven't added a logo for Pink Sakura. I think we have a logo, so I'm going to leave it with the logo. Then below that, we are going to add the month. So June newsletter. Then you can change the font styles. You can customize the appearance. That is totally up to you. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to try out a new font. And I don't like the new font, so I will try out another new font. I like this one. Now below that, we can add some text or, you know, any type of news let's say that tan is in like this and then we can add you know different blocks and on the right section you will see 
how you can add different colors, how you can add different sections as well. If you want to remove a section, you can click on delete and you can click on add section on the bottom to add a new section. I'll delete these excessive sections that I don't need. I'll take this one over here, make the text bold like this, and then I will go into the right and make it center aligned. Then below that, I will click on add section and I want to add an image. So I will select that and I will use one of my product images or even a free image from Shutterstock. Just use a free image from here like this. And after that, I can add some more text below it. So I will click on add section and I will add a text section and I can write whatever I want in my newsletter. So furs and silk, fur and silk combos, silk combos are the trend setter or the season like this. And you can even use this sparkly icon to generate content. So let's say that I want this to be a newsletter post talking about how silk is the new trend and I want the voice to be say expert in this and then I can click on generate content and it will generate content for me so you guys can see it is now generating my content I'm going to click on keep and now below that I can add more images I can also add buttons and I will add a button to shop now I'll click on the button and on the right side, I will lead it to a collection. And this would most certainly be the silk collection. And on the right, I will go on ahead and customize the button text as well, which I cannot seem to find. I, where did it go? Here it is. So I will add a shop or new silks now like this. And once I have set this up, I can click on review on the top right. And you will see uh, on the top, you have to add your subscribers, the subject, the preview text and your email address. And just like that, you can start launching your own newsletters using Shopify. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video